with our next matchup. Losers bracket action once more. The the lone UK defender who's been able to. Should we be commentating work. this one? I feel like. So well, Foxy's coming up, right? And you, yeah. You, we say we try not to be biased, but you you know we can't help it. I I give it a good go. Speak for yourself. Should I like swap out? Like Ackerman's right there. Like should I just like? Well, well no. I guess that's the question answered, isn't it? Foxy Grandpa has managed to get uh, loser side top eight today, playing mainly Shang Tsung, but he's actually been going uh, a couple of characters, right? It's been yes, Kung so Lao, Night Wolf. We've seen Foxy's character pool has been predominantly Shang Tsung, and then if the matchup calls for it, Kung Lao is a pocket. But he did use a little bit of Night Wolf today, which was mainly just to try and shut down like a runaway game and being nice and simple. His opponent, Rewind. Rewind is. I think a player that a lot of people are, are really gunning for this weekend. He's been playing absolutely phenomenally. He's won pro comp events in the past. I believe it was Celtic Throwdown with the Liu Kang versus Sonic Rewind Fox. Rewind is an Evo champion, Celtic Throwdown champion, like Evo champion for Injustice 2, you know, saying that he is a world champion material because he's done it before. Um, but Rewind managed to get top eight by eliminating uh, Dizzy TT, another one of the UK hopefuls. In a, in a close match. Very close five game. It was a really clutch play from Rewind to bring that through. So Rewind is either going to be the slayer of the UK overall, or Foxy will be able to get that, that ultimate revenge. But these are two players that I, I really enjoy watching both of these. You know, Foxy due to the, the, the horrible bias that we show him every time. But also because I just I respect this play a lot, right? Shang Tsung is really good for him. The way he plays Kung Lao also. He is like the epitome of strike throw. Like Foxy's got, he, like, he will normally have like Heidi's and random accounts. He'll always call himself throw spammer and whatnot because, you know, he sees the comments. He knows you guys call him a spammer and he but loves it. But does he care? No, the he answer doesn't. Is no. You fueled him. Like you, you make him want to do it more. That it achieves the exact opposite effect. And here he is. But I mean, Foxy feeds off that energy. He plays for effectiveness, and a lot of players aren't really prepared to be as slow and disciplined as he, as he does bring to the table. Shang Tsung is a perfect character for that. And I mean, this, this whole tournament has been a wonderful representation of parts of the world that many, many years ago didn't really get their chance to be represented. And now we have players Dude, from South warms America, my heart to various see parts of Europe. Like, come it, on. It absolutely warms my heart beyond belief to see, again, like at least like what three Europeans in, in top 16, you know, Nivek, Dizzy, Foxy. Um, of course, there were, there, you know, there were some European hopefuls at LCQ. I that, mean, that this is a far cry from 2011 where Foxy was this kind of unknown online player that nobody thought was dangerous because, hey, it's online. How good can he really be? Exactly. You Almost know, 10 but, years but later, here we are. Right? Like we've, we've been with the game for so long as, as you know, so many of you guys that have been watching from home the whole time, you guys have all seen. Um, you know it has you know, not always been an international show. There was a point that the Netherrealm scene was very much kind of like America or bust. And even though America is still very much like the most dominant force in the game. Oh, of course. We've sure. got Conqueror, you've got you know, Canada, you've got... Um, I mean, honestly, shout-outs shout shout to the East, South American Russia. Mortal I want to say shout-outs to the, the South American Mortal Kombat scene. They have a underratedly large classic presence, too. They consistently, to this day, have ult to arcade, ultimate MK3 tournaments that have numbers that can trump a lot of other tournaments in the world. It is remarkable stuff. Uh, but I do believe now we, the handshake has come through. We should be loading in real soon. But uh, I mean, this is a this is a matchup where it's going to be defense versus lightning fast offense, and we're going to see who's going to come off better here. Rewind versus Foxy Grandpa loses action of this top eight for the World Finals Final Combat 2020. One will advance, one will be eliminated. The question is, who is going to be the who? Original big bad boss. The unproven next generation aspirant. Allow me to present my qualifications. That was a great right. intro. No, I've he never used way more before. syllables than she did. Well, just say it. The older generation, my friend. But now this matchup is going to be upgraded. She is going to leap. She is going to want to have no part in this ground eruption zoning. But the escape failed. Already trying to go for the unpredictable grabs. Foxy goes for the forward grab because the reverse one into corner was way more predictable. I mean, he literally builds his game around throws or strike, right? He is like the epitome of that of that playstyle. You know, really kind of forced it to be as as prominent as it is now. But the big thing we're seeing a lot of um, movement knowledge from Foxy, right? We're seeing every time Rewind is going for like leaps or whatever, that right there, he's going for that big boot, that forward four, because he's not trying to hit Rewind. He's just trying to move out of the way of the of the jump, and it's working. Like three for three. Match really up, smart. Match up knowledge right here. But a wonderful tech from Rewind getting clipped by the one one though. And Foxy has to show so much discipline to not anti-air those jump-ins because at any moment, she could blow you up for it. And it looks like now it's Rewind's turn. But no, the back three connects all the same. And a breakaway, brave breakaway. But with the Fatal Blow in play, all it would take really was a, was a Fatal Blow to start the general momentum. Didn't quite land it, but round one's going to be Foxy's anyway. Round two.
Fight. Now rewind, you know he's the kind of player that's going to adapt. So we're seeing Foxy has that very obvious answer. Oh, okay. Foxy has that obvious answer for the leap. I'll be very surprised if Rewind doesn't try and figure out some way around it. Immediately gets the perfect time to go through the corpse drop. It is going to enforce Foxy to go for a lot more prediction. Corpse drops there. The close ones just in case the leap. But Grease Kick as well. It's so many ways Jackie can get combos in this variation. It's crazy remarkable. Clipped again. Looks like some more. Foxy, I think, just going for the hard reads of the neutral duck. And <laughs> it's not working at all. Rewind's going to get the second round here. Yeah, rewind, that is exactly the round he needed after that first round being so so controlling for Foxy. Oh, and Foxy tries to get out of dodge by finishing the string, but Rewind chases him down nonetheless. Now, this is the scary situation. You just have to wait for your moment to strike. But upgraded, she has a million and one ways to do it. The flawless block again. Really good trade for Foxy, getting a little bit of his meter out. Two breakaway with punish on the 114. And here comes that ground eruption, full screen. Back you go. But now Rewind. He's just looking for that magical leap. Foxy waits for it. Oh, oh threads the needle. Magic. Foxy breaks the jaw. See you later, team. But it's not over. This is Jackie Briggs we're talking about. Damage. Fatal blows in play. Oh, no. Clipped. Are we going to see a leap? Are we seeing that? Wow. Foxy, I know you want to leap. How about that? You know what I'm going to say? I don't want to jinx it, but Foxy normally having such a, a grab-heavy game. He's normally the one that falls victim to the constant down twos, but it feels like today he's been the one dishing them out instead. I mean, no, that's actually one thing I've, I've noticed is Foxy is known for playing very by the book, very kind of like by the rules, right? He's very strict, very calculated, but today he's still playing that way, but he's willing to make these big decisions, right? These big wake up jumps, these big just hold down and get that, that crushing blow. And I feel like that might be an element to why he's doing so well today, but does not mean that this is done by any means. Rewind, more than capable of bringing this back. It's been one game and a first of three. We have plenty left to go in this set. Now, rare sight. You're going to see, I feel like we're going to see less grabs in this matchup purely because the chances of being absolute point blank, it's just less. Rewind doesn't want to put himself in a position to get grabbed here. He wants to be mobile. He wants to be airborne. Oh, my. Lawless block on the dash punch. We'll take it. And now commits to the forward 2-4-2 because it just moves Shang Tsung so far away. Far to whip punish. And now the pressure breakaway being used means you're kind of at the mercy of it. Ooh. Rewind tries to be a little bit cute. The reverse grab again, more damage. And now Fatal Blow in play. Cannot count this character out, especially when Fatal Blow is ready to go. Dash punch at the start of it. Can't confirm. Every single hit here could be a confirm if he commits. Hang on a minute. Oh my god, corpse drop. Oh, oh the six. trip guard! There we go, fatal blow. The trigger is pulled, completely unscaled, really. And I gotta commend the patience there from Rewind, where Foxy went in, assumingly that was because I've been defensive the whole game, you're not expecting me to go in. That's exactly how the last game ended, was that Rewind, I don't think, was ready for the jump three at all. Oh, just clipped by the arse end of that ground eruption. Well, from this range, Foxy, <laughs> two forward dashes. You think you've caught the defensive flow? He just dashes in and grabs you. It really throws off your momentum. Range, rewind. Recognizing the punish there. Down one to interrupt. Stealing a turn back. Shang Tsung getting a couple of percent of health back, but commits to a projectile and that's a jump in. Oh, Every time. Drop combo from rewind. Every time Foxy does a single projectile, he is dancing with the devil here. The damage for upgraded is so insane, and Rewind making the perfect reads. Oh my word. Speaking Another of which, flawless, flawless block comes through again for Foxy. Plus frames. Ooh, short hop. Look like a flawless block attempt to me, perhaps. Oh no, the counter hit! Rewind could see that Foxy had like very clearly mistimed that meaty forward two. So he just woke up with the optimal punish. Wake up with a crushing low launcher? Absolutely. If you're going to mistime it, you will pay the price. Rewind takes a game back. We might have a really good set on our hands here. We can see some adaptations. Rewind. He's not being as crazy offensive. He's just looking for the moment. He's trying to catch the rhythm of Foxy's projectiles. He's being wise to it quite a lot, but now the ball's in Foxy's court. He's making get back down here. Oh, that, oh. that was that was such a quick micro duck. I would argue whether she actually entered a ducking state at all. <laughs> you know what I mean? With the grab, that's going to be another one. The damage of these grabs on a perfect read. It looks like a matchup that's a little bit tricky here. She has the answers to the momentum. Should be a full combo. A rewind. Definitely doesn't deem it worthy to go for a breakaway there. Might yeah. start now. But crucial, close in play. crucial to get that health back here when you're this low. Every percent counts. 
and oh. the hard, yeah. Hard dedication to just dash in and grab again. It is a, a big payout or a big disaster. You kind of just have to roll that dice and accept it. Rewind is playing out of his mind so far. He's like just the way he's, he's being so much. Reads. Yeah, like e even though Foxy is like avoiding all the jumps, it's not deterring Rewind because like you're avoiding him, you're not punishing him. And if he hits that leap, he's doing like 300 damage. So of course, like there's no reason not to. You can see the care. Foxy's having to place a lot of care into every single projectile he throws here. Oh, dash punch. High speed from Rewind so far. No flaws. Foxy's up there from Foxy. Has been quite successful with that so far, but these leaps. Momentum is the magic word in this matchup. Reverse grab into a turn. Foxy has to hold it again. Tries to challenge it with a down two. Big mistake. And rewind. Continuing the pressure. Foxy just wants to get out. But can he? It just feels like rewind relentless. There's no getting away. Well, thing is, like, it's, it's one thing to just avoid the leap every time you're at a distance. But when she's point blank, you are just having to deal with it like the rest of us. Now, if you're in Foxy's shoes, do you stick with Shang or do you go to a Kung Lao or something else? I feel like the matchup just isn't working. It's it's hard to say whether it is clearly a matchup thing though, because Foxy he won the first game. It's not been two complete blowouts. But the the big the big question is can Foxy keep it up? Because playing Shang Tsung in this matchup clearly requires you to be like absolutely playing at your just perfection, right? You have no room for error. One projectile gone gone askew and you get jumped in on and you take like 300 damage. You have to you have to be flawless blocking, you have to be doing all this really difficult stuff. The question is, is there a character you can pick in his arsenal that maybe isn't as quite high maintenance but can still get the job done? But then Rewind plays many characters, so what's to stop him from just changing should Foxy manage to tie things up? You have so many questions to, you know, to, to ask and not enough answers in the heat at the moment. Well, Foxy, he's going to ride the wave with Shang Tsung to the bitter end. We'll see if he's going to be able to adapt here in any way. But so far, it's Rewind, who's just been in full control all the way through. And it looks like, again, history's just repeating itself. He's point blank, and that's where he's going to stay. And the reactions, out. there's no way Rewind's not going to get locked on that overhead. Nice little micro dash underneath the jump in, but Rewind answering back with an immediate dash punch. Oh, hits him, but wasn't confident in the ground eruption. So this is a scary position for Foxy. Gonna be quite the miracle comeback to make. Has to hold all of this and grabs. I mean, they become extremely dangerous when you're this low on life. And now it's gonna be either hit, match point for Rewind. And he's just riding all the momentum. This matchup is so heavily focused on Rewind, looking for that one opening and just sticking to him like glue. He's playing the matchup perfectly so far. Foxy just has no room to breathe. Oh, just try to just raw jump from point blank. Rewind, he wants to end this now. He's got somewhere to be. Oh wow, just a straight up slap on that forward too. Such if a he, long range punch. If he can ultimately just keep all oh, that like a bait to me. Going yeah, he did instantly. a short one, that was really smart. And he cancelled it immediately. He is wise to this plan, but no breakaway for Rewind means this one's going to hurt. 37% But Rewind. A leap, a dream, and a fatal blow can totally win this round still. Foxy doesn't want to overcommit. Oh, Especially no! if he threads the needle and gets over the ground eruption. Here he goes. Scary times here if you're Foxy. The low. Rewind, risking it all. But all he needs now is one clean opening. Foxy, defending for his life. But all it takes now is one clean hit. Oh no, Did, just like that! Wait, was that a trade combo? Rewind, 3-1. Eliminating Foxy Grandpa here in this top eight. What a display of knowledge. And just the, the, the fact that Foxy has spent today being so insanely hard to crack into with that defense. Rewind, just finding the magic moment every time. It's all over decision-making and playing the matchup perfectly. At no point really did Foxy look comfortable outside of game number one. Rewind found his rhythm and that was all she wrote. Shouts to Foxy for getting as far as he did top eight for the World Finals. This and is man, where his Fox, journey's going to end. Foxy's been but. doing the UK proud for eight plus years at, the, at this point in the realm and continues to do so. So well done, Foxy. It's a shame to see him go here from but, our very biased perspective. But of course, it's can't great. take it away yeah, from Rewind. For, for sure, Rewind played, th there's no taking away from it whatsoever. Rewind played phenomenally. He's in great form and could totally even move into, you know, losers finals, maybe even grand finals. He's got the skill and he's got the talent. He's definitely got the drive. You can tell that for sure. Um, but yeah, that's where Foxy is gonna bow out of the championship.